Hello, and welcome to my channel, Brad Wardle, call sign Captain Wingnut from Cougar Ridge Ranch, high in the Uinta Mountains of eastern Utah. And as you can see, we've still got a little bit of snow, but that means that the rodents are waking up and they are hungry. They want to chew on everything. They want to try and eat everything, including the wires under the hood of your car. So I'm going to show you a cheap, easy little fix to keep them from chewing the wires under your car, save you thousands of dollars, and a lot of headache. All right, enough cabin. Let's go do it. So what you're going to need to start out with is a package of mothballs. You can get these at the dollar store for a buck. Uh, it's not expensive at all. You're going to, you're going to want to get a uh, wire bread tie and uh, maybe a little pin if, you, if you're going to need to poke a hole in it. You're going to need some reinforced tape that you're going to put on the top right here and fold down and reinforce this. Then you're going to use a hole punch and punch a hole right in the center right here. And then we're going to take the wire tie and put it in the hole and put a little twist in it right here so that it won't come off. And that's what you're going to need to save thousands of dollars. So the first car that we're going to protect is Mama's precious touring car. Mama gets first choice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the hood and we're gonna take the little packet of mothballs, we're gonna take the little bread tie and put it through the, the hole and twist it up a little bit so that it's on there good. Then we're gonna find a spot under the hood that uh, is not letting the package of mothballs touch. We don't want it to touch anything, anything hot that might melt the package because then the mothballs will fall out. Won't hurt anything, but it will just uh, lessen your chances and we're going to just tie it onto a cable or a wire that's out of the way of everything. Now the heat in the engine is going to cause the proliferation of fumes from this naphthalene and that's going to proliferate under the hood and it will be there all the time. As you walk by your car out from under the tires you'll smell it. Uh, it's not very powerful but it's, it's noticeable and it, never notice it in the car but uh, you'll notice it when the car is sitting and that's what you want. You want that smell under there so that the rodents don't want to go up in there because rodents teeth are always growing and so they chew on everything just as a, a matter of life and they're tasting everything and they're hungry this time of year. They're looking for food. So we don't want them chewing the wires because it's thousands and thousands of dollars in expense to uh, get somebody to rewire your car. Uh, you're you're going to see comments of a lot of people who have gone through the hell of having rodents chew the wiring in their car and the cost is unbelievable. And a lot of insurance does not cover that. That's uh, like an act of nature or something. I don't know why. They always have an excuse for why they can't cover something. But um, you want to tie this on to a cable, make sure that the package is not touching anything, and then close up the hood and drive along. Now, if you don't smell uh, naphthalene, the, the mothball smell, under the hood, you can take a pin and poke a couple of holes in the bag. I wouldn't poke more than two or three because the smell pretty nasty and you may have to change out the pack for a new one to put some tape over the holes. But uh, at the most I've ever poked is, is a hole in each side of the package just to get more smell. But uh, this is what we do on the ranch in the spring to keep the rodents out. And uh, it works very, very well. And uh, I really hope this has helped. Uh, if, you, if you like the content of my videos, please uh, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon, and uh, be notified when I release new videos. I always try to give you some educational videos and some fun videos. So I appreciate you subscribing if you've already subscribed. And if you haven't, Click the button and join the club. So, Brad Wardle, Captain Wingnut, signing off from Cougar Ridge Ranch, high in the Uinta Mountains of Eastern Utah. And I really appreciate you. And I have so much fun doing this for you. Thank you.